everyone, Dr. Saul here in Beverly Hills. If you guys remember last week, we did a capsular contracture release, removal and replacement. So these are the implants. If you remember, one was ruptured, one wasn't. First, let's look at the ruptured one. So the ruptured one, you could see that it was ruptured along the side of the implant. You could see the gel. Why is it called gummy bear? Just like a gummy bear, when you when you take a bite out of it, it doesn't leak out. It's, it's loose, but it doesn't leak out. That's why it's gummy bear. You can see if I even hold it upside down, it stays within the shell. It always stays within the shell, no matter what you do. It stays, it leaks a little, but it goes back in. So that's the gummy bear implants by Allergan. This is the one that's intact. But you can see because the, there's a crease in it, why is there a crease in this implant? Is because it was encapsulated. So there was a tight, tight uh, sheet of material, fibrous material calcified around it. So it created a crease. Eventually, this crease can open up and break. So we're going to open up the implant for you to see how it is. Here we go. Let's go through it. So there we are. Cut right across. So here's the implant. You could see as I cut it myself, it stays within the shell of the implant. You see that? It's within the shell and this is cutting it all the way across. And that's why it's called gummy bear because it's just like when you take a bite out of a gummy bear. There it is. Here's the other one that wasn't ruptured. We did a straight cut through it with a 10 blade. I want you to see how the gel stays inside the implant. It doesn't leak. You see whatever I'm doing, it stays within the implant. That's what's called a cohesive gel. It means that it sticks together. You can see, watch, it doesn't leak out. Even if it's upside down, it all adheres together.